Good morning, and I am so excited that you are here, ready for our 2023 Home Planner Challenge. If you are joining me for the first time, first, let me tell you, this is the funnest place on the internet to be. We have the nicest little corner of the internet and I love it. We are gonna be talking through our home planner challenge this week for five days. We're gonna go all in, you guys. So we're gonna work really, really hard to do our challenge list each day. It's not that much and once you get in the system, it feels super, it's not super stressful. So you can click the link in the video if you want the planner. We're gonna walk through. I'm gonna show you my cleaning supply bucket, what things I use. I'm gonna tell you how I personally use the planner as a full-time working wife and mom and it kind of how it served me over the last few years because it was, there was a season where if I had not had this, like it was kind of the system I did, but I did it in my head. And so this is how we're going to make it super, super simple. So first let me talk to you about my cleaning supply bucket. I have a lot to tell y'all today, y'all. So you ready? My cleaning supply bucket. I have my Windex. It's my favorite. Y'all, Windex is the best glass cleaner. Have y'all found another great glass cleaner? It's my favorite. I use the Method Wood for Good, the Method Daily Granite. I have some stainless cleaner that I keep in this. I can keep toilet bowl cleaner underneath each of the toilets in the bathrooms because that's just easier for me. I've got my Clorox wipes. I've got a couple rags and then I've got the a toothbrush because you never know when you're going to get a nasty spot that you can't clean out and that's it. And I've had this bucket since like 1993. Probably some of y'all were not born when I got this bucket, but I've had it forever. It's a Sterilite bucket. Um, you can probably find one at Walmart. As you're hopping on, hit the share this button to enter to win a $25 Amazon gift card. Tell me where you're from. Tell me if this is your first year doing the, the planner or if you have done it before. And I'm going to walk you through the most important piece right now in the top of the planner. So if you have your planner, pull it out right now. Who has it? If you're watching, you better be cleaning as you watch. Y'all let me know. Do you have it? When you pull it out, this is considered morning-ish work. This is evening-ish work. If you do, let me tell you, because I get so many questions about this, so we're gonna talk through this. The morning tasks kind of lead into the evening tasks. So if you have three kids at home, you probably need to do the morning and the evening tasks. If you're like me, I've got now just one kiddo at home. I have three kids. I only have one kiddo at home now. Um, most of the time right now, I've still got my, my daughter, my middle daughter is here from college for a few more days. So I'm super glad having her home. When you could probably get away with just doing this side, I'm sorry, this side task. So work really hard this week. If you do nothing else and you are new here, I want you to work hustle to get this side done. Don't worry about anything else here. Just do this side. This is gonna keep your home in order. And these are the things that I think through in my brain every single morning. So we're gonna walk through and do those together. Then these bigger projects like yesterday, they help a lot. Making a menu plan and grocery shopping, I feel like you have to do that one. So y'all have to make a menu plan, you have to grocery shop, you have to feed your people. It's gonna save you so much money. Today's though, clean mirrors, desk furniture, vacuum couch, vacuum house. If you missed that, if you're new, it's okay let it go work on these guys and we're going to walk through those in, the, in just a second on what those are um the other thing i will tell you is a lot of times i save the things that are on these side lists i save them till the weekend and do them then so you can totally do that as well okay are we ready you guys first time kim's a first timer who else is a first timer here first tell me if it's your first time doing the planner and second tell me if you're it's your first time being here at all maybe we'll get some new people on hi nancy watching in charleston south carolina i'm tickled you're here Debbie uses Norwex. I hear great things about Norwex. I have not used them, but I know some folks love them. Okay, I use a Swiffer duster. Now today is dusting, and so I'm just gonna really fast because I wanna do it with you guys, do a super fast dusting. I will tell you, and this is something that I am, I've learned as a, I've been married a long time, so I'm gonna teach you something right here. This is where my husband keeps his computer. It drives me absolutely batty. Y'all, it drives me crazy. But the reality is, but he comes home every night and works for a few hours on the, on his, on the computer. So rather than hiding it away because my organized self likes it to be tidy, I just pop it in the chair and I don't think about it. Don't, your people have to live in your home, okay? Can we just talk about that? Your people have to live in your home. If your kids use water bottles, you've gotta have water bottles out. If your kids use, but you don't have to have five weeks of water bottles out, okay? If your kids regularly use um, vitamins, if, you're, if you take vitamins or whatever, maybe find a place in a cabinet, you can put them where they can easily get them. But if you need to keep them on the counter, your people live in your house, okay? So this is not like a be perfect planner. This is a make it doable, but don't keep out stuff that you don't need. How many, what do y'all keep on your counters? Now I'm pretty, I will tell you, I'm a minimalist when it comes to my 
what I keep on my counters and it helps. Y'all, I gotta show you, I just got these pictures up here. I was just thinking, literally just got them up here. And what I love about a Swiffer duster is how easily you can get these guys done. I mean, there is nothing better. Can y'all see those than that? Anyways, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go now through, we're gonna take the stuff in here. Are y'all ready? I gotta clean everything. I gotta carry everything while I do video. Oh, let me show you my favorite vacuum. Actually, we're gonna take two trips. It's just gonna take me two trips. This vacuum is a cordless vacuum that I keep in our kitchen and it is the greatest thing ever because I hate pulling out a massive vacuum. We have mostly hardwood floors here, so for us, this works great. But even when I have carpet, y'all get yourself. This is the Eureka. It's so handy and so easy and is probably one of my favorite things of all time. Anyways, good morning. I'm so glad, Mark. Let's see, let me say your name right. Marie Chris, I don't know that I said that right, but I'm so glad you're here this morning. Okay, so we're gonna walk through the daily checklist stuff. Hang on. Oh, I forgot my, I missed my stand. Y'all, it's gonna take us a lot of walking back and forth this morning. We're gonna walk through the things that are your daily things to do, especially in the morning, because that's what I really want you to focus on more than anything else. And if you are watching me, if you're watching, would you tell me, if you're watching, please hop up. Don't see sitting on your boot. I call them, I tell my kids, I call it my bushka. Don't sit on your bushka. Don't sit on your bushka while you're watching this. If you have legs that God gave you this morning while you're watching, join me and do this. It's gonna feel so good. You will be so glad that you did. I lost my pen that I put in here. Put a pen in here. Y'all, hop up off your bushka. Let's go, girlies. We've got this. And maybe there's a guy, I can't imagine there's a guy. Bless you if you're a guy who watches this. I'm so sorry, we're kind of crazy around here. Okay, morning stuff to tackle. Exercise, so I do that and I'll walk through kind of how I do this personally in my morning. Exercise, I do super early. I go to the gym, I went this morning, it felt amazing, so I was really glad. Definitely a lot of New Year folks there. Did anybody else find that? If, if you've been going to the gym, this is the week where everybody's starting back. It's so worth it, y'all. Take time to exercise, so I do that at about five o'clock a.m. It's early, I know. Um, shower, as soon as I get home, I shower, make bed. My husband and I usually make the bed in the morning together as he, we're now in the way that our, this is the first season probably in our married lives where we get ready at the same time in the morning. And so it's so nice, as soon as I see him go to start helping make the bed, I run in there and I help him because it's so much easier to make a bed when there's two of you working on the bed, so we did that. Start laundry, so as soon as I'm done, walk in and getting ready for the morning, I walk right to my laundry room and start a load of laundry. Clean bathroom sinks, we're gonna go do that right now. Now, this is one of those things. Clean bathroom sinks is on there, and the reason is, totally because of my mother-in-law. When she, when we would go to her house, she would stay up at night, and I could never figure out why she had a very small, beautiful little home, but very tiny little house, and we would have Five of us stay there with her. I mean, there would be times where we had seven, eight, nine in their very tiny house. And every morning I noticed that someone had cleaned the bathroom and Jenny would go through at night. And after everybody was in bed, she would run through and she would clean the bathroom sink. And what I realized is that it made the whole house and this experience of staying, they had one and a half bathrooms in their house. So they all shared a bathroom. And whenever we would come, it never felt, nothing ever felt messy because she took time to just wipe down that darn sink. So it's such a small thing. I don't honestly do mine every single day. This is the one we use. I'll do this one. Typically I do mine in our bathroom and I don't do my kids y'all. They can do their own stuff, but I do mine in my bathroom and I do the, that one probably two times a week. So maybe three, probably three times a week. So especially this weekend, you know, I didn't do it Saturday or Sunday. So it's not something you have to do every day. And I can't say enough for those of you who just got the planner, this is not something you have to do every single day. If you miss a day, like no one's gonna know, no one's gonna know, but it's gonna be so much easier to keep up with because you're there doing it. So, okay, so we uh, clean the bathroom sinks, plan and prep dinner. So I am making buffalo chicken for my daughter cause she likes that. So I've got that planned. Wash and put away dishes. I actually did this earlier because I was in here with Reagan getting ready for the morning and so it's just easier to do it. So wash and put away your dishes, clean kitchen counters. We're gonna do that right now. We're near our kitchen counters. So what I'm gonna use is the Method Daily Granite and this is one of those things, how many of you guys have what, what color countertops do you have? White countertops are probably the worst for looking super clean 
and then you touch them and there is dirt underneath. So in the morning, I don't always do every single speck of it, but remember, we've been here, I'm gonna here. We've been, it's the weekend, so I'm coming back from Monday. So I'm, I'm coming back from the weekend, so I try to get as much as I can done really well. And while this looks pretty clean, <laughs> I just can see in all of our crumblies from this morning. So go ahead as you're watching and take a few minutes. It will feel so much better for the rest of the day by taking some time to do this. And I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the side counters and get all of those done. Dark granite brownish. Does it show, do you feel like you see the grit? Like I know in one house we had the way the light was in the kitchen. I could just see when there was like, especially after the kids had eaten breakfast in the morning, you could just see. This always looks like it's clean. And then what's really bad is I've, I thought it was clean because it looks clean. And then people have come over for whatever and I've felt like nasty, sticky spots. So taking a few minutes, Again, I normally do the main part of it two or three times a week. I get a really good cleaning in in the mornings. I don't do all of it every single day. It does not matter. This is a home planner for you to use for your family as it works out for you. So don't stress, don't stress. Okay, so that's done. Next thing. I'm so glad y'all are here this morning. I love seeing you here. It shows everything. It shows everything. You see nothing on dark granite. Dark granite can be, it can be deceiving for sure. And so, I mean, I think all granite, it depends so much on the light in your house, I think. Y'all, I am so excited that y'all are here. It has been a while since we've had a good Facebook Live. So thank y'all for joining me this morning. Okay, wash, put away dishes, clean kitchen counters, wipe down kitchen sink. Okay, so let's talk through this. This is my gift to myself. And some people may say, this may be too much for some people. For me, taking care of my home is a gift to me. I love it, it makes me feel better about myself, and it takes so much less time by doing it every day. My sweet niece called me, she has started, my two nieces have started doing the planner this year. They're both late 20s, early 30s. And so they messaged me yesterday, and they said, one of them, they've been messaging me, I just missed that spot over there. This is why I have to do it, y'all. She messaged me yesterday and she said, she was homesick with the flu, but she said, my house is so much more manageable than it's ever been. I have never felt like this before. She had never done anything like it. She said, I think I could get used to this. By taking just a couple minutes to get it done, it, is, it just makes you feel better. And like this right here, I'm gonna show you why. So I've got four of us right now at home. And this is, uh, you probably can't see that. I wish, I want you to be able to get in there and see that. Can you see that? It's pretty crunchy down there. If I don't ever do this, it's just nasty. And so taking five minutes in the morning, it probably takes me five to 10 minutes to do all the things on the top left side corner of the planner. So it should take you about that long once you get in the routine. At first, it may take a little bit longer, but literally, I don't even think about it. And my house just always kind of, the thing is, you're gonna have to clean whether you do a system or not. So at the end of the day, whether you follow something crazy like this, or if you just do it any other way, you are gonna have to clean. So why not clean regularly and keep it pretty much tidy and then you just get to live with it clean because it's not gonna take you any, it probably is gonna take you less time and you get to live with it clean. I got something, I think I have a stain there. Okay, anyways, there you go. So that is done. The other gift to myself, and this is the one that I get questions about more often than anything else. Does anybody have any idea of which question I get more than anything else on this home planner? Here's the question I get. What does set out kitchen towels mean? This is actually for the evening list, but I do it a lot in the morning. All it is, you know how when you go to a hotel, has anybody gone to a hotel, especially like a, um, like a, what's the type of hotel? Oh, I just put it in there. Um, like a, a hotel that you stay at for a longer extended period of time period of time. You know how they set out your towels for you in the kitchen? If you've ever stayed in one of those extended stays where you're like, they've got a little kitchenette, they set out a towel for you. To me, this is like me giving myself grace and saying, when I wake up in the morning, there's a fresh new towel. You're starting a fresh new day. Treat yourself like you are coming to a hotel that's cared for you, where someone has taken care of you. Take care of yourself. And one other thing I will say is on the planner, y'all, this is not meant Busy mamas, especially, do I have any busy mamas there? Any, any busy mamas on today? 
This is not something you have to do all by yourself. This is a home planner. It is not a mom planner. It is not a wife planner. It is not a, it is a home planner. This is your planner for the people who live in your home. Okay. So what I really want you to do as much as you can is just set out a couple of things, set it out and just say, maybe your kids can tackle one task each day. My kids do the dishes. Like it's not even a big deal. My older kids are both at college. They both wipe down their kitchen sinks. I don't know if that's crazy or not, y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying. But they just it just feels good to live in a clean space. And it takes the same amount of time to keep your home clean or not. And this is the reason, for those of you who are new here, is anybody new who had not heard of Passionate Penny Pincher before the planner? The reason that Passionate Penny Pincher is so in line with the planner is that we all started in different places. I wish you could see, I wish I could go back and do a Facebook Live in my first house so you could see the difference where we started. When you take care of whatever you have, whatever it is, whether it be a big, huge house or a tiny little house, wherever you live, if it's an apartment, if it's a one bedroom, whatever it is, when you take care of that space, it's gonna feel more valuable. And as a passionate penny pincher, when we take care of our space, it is part of something we do to invest in ourselves and also take care of our investment. And that's a huge thing for me. The other day I was cleaning and I was thinking, man, I had that momentary thought of nobody's gonna see this. Like, why am I cleaning just for myself? Our home is an investment. It's money, right? Our home is an investment. If our house is trashed because we didn't take time to do it, we're letting our invest, we're not taking care of what God's given us. So I encourage you to try it out if you can. Let me go through your questions and I was gonna check off the rest of the list. So each day, where did I just put my pen, y'all? I have lost my pen more times this morning. Um, I wanna go through super fast and show you kind of, oh, wait, I just lost that. I did just lose it though. I have one pen that I really like the best and it's probably missing. Anyways, okay, what questions do y'all have? Um, what's the purpose of the racks in the sink? The racks in the sink are there because um, this is a porcelain sink, and if anybody in our family, including myself, who is super clumsy, if we dropped it, something in there, it would totally become a mess. So yeah, that's what that's there for. You bought the planner two years, but not never followed as much this year following, and you love how you're, you feel how good about your house. I'm so glad who just said that. Beth, that makes my day. Um, I know, Caroline, wouldn't it be great? I would love to contact the owner of that first house. Even though I will say we remodeled it and it looks really cute and I checked it once online and it looks pretty good. They've done a good job keeping it up, but it's just fun to think back of how differently, you know, you just never know where you're gonna be in life. Okay, so wipe down kitchen sink, tidy main living space is the other thing. And that's just picking up your family room. At nighttime, I try to do it, but more often than not, I do it in the morning. So it's already been done this morning. And then I just need to do a quick vacuuming. Um, let me show you really quickly how I keep my planner set up. This has been useful for me um, because I, out of sight, out of mind. This is just my little planner corner. It's a bamboo cookbook stand. I set it like this. I have my Bible out right in front. I read the Bible. It's a super quick Bible reading. And I actually wanna talk about the Bible reading here in a second. Um, so I just keep it out right there, easy peasy. It makes it easy to keep up with. I also keep our grocery list or menu plan or anything else we're working on there. And I keep my accessory pouch just right behind so I can have extra pens and everything as I need them. Okay, does the vacuum spit out dirt? Uh, it, I don't know if it would pick up a Cheerio. The vacuum does a pretty good job, but I don't know if it would handle a Cheerio or not. I hate to tell you that and then be wrong. Let's talk through the Bible reading for those of you who are doing the Bible reading with us. And let me talk through all the ends of that. First of all, if you are not a Christian, that is totally okay. There, you can put stickers over the Bible reading if they're going to drive you crazy or just recognize that the Bible happens to be a very kind of incredible book as just a book. So if you just want to look at it for the historical, you just want to read something or just take that time and read something else. So if you are not a Christian, it is okay. This year, the Bible reading is much lighter than last year. How many of y'all did the Old Testament reading with us last year? It was a lot. It was a heavy read. Very intentionally, we did a very much lighter read this year. But what I love is if you're new to reading the Bible, it's really simple this year. It's Psalms, Proverbs. I'm going to make sure I get this right because I'm going to always say it wrong. Psalms, Proverbs, which will take us most of the first and first of the year. Um, Proverbs, I really would love to just do all of Proverbs over and over again. I thought about that. Isaiah, Jeremiah, I believe, and then I think it's Song of Solomon. I always get this mixed up, which is why I'm going to Psalms, Proverbs, Isaiah. I'm pretty sure it's Jeremiah. We're still in Isaiah at the end of the year. 
thought we do Jeremiah, but I guess we don't. This is like y'all, I get I get confused on this every time. It took us so many years to try to figure out what we were gonna be doing. It does just go through Isaiah, but then it has Song of Psalms. Psalms, Proverbs, Isaiah, Song of Songs. The information is in the beginning of the planner as well, telling you that I struggle with, I just always know it's Psalms and Proverbs because I wanted to get through those. The reading is much easier this year because I want you to just say, I've read through two major big books of the Bible this year, four major books of the Bible. So definitely much, much, much easier. Um, hopefully that will help you just to feel like we're just gonna do that. Next year we'll be doing the New Testament, then I think we do the Old Testament again. So we'll just rotate through three readings. So each year will be saw, um, Old Testament, New Testament, and then some of the wisdom books of the Bible. Okay, Shark Handles, the, this, the planner is the only reason you got through the Old Testament. Barbara, I love that. Would you clean all your bathrooms every day? No, Nikki. And all I would do, Nikki, on the bathrooms, you're literally going in with a Clorox wipe and you're just cleaning up the top, the, um, the, the sink top. You're not doing toilets fully. I do my toilets once a week. Then if we have any issues throughout the week, I go ahead and do a second set of toilets. So if they look bad, if they look grubby, a midweek, I'll do another quick toilet clean. But once a week, toilets, full bathroom. Every couple days, I do just the um, sink tops. Okay, you bought the sister planner for your sister-in-law. It's her first one. You're going to want to talk that if you'll read Proverbs, you won't need to pay a psychiatrist. Oh, Holly, I like that. Holly just said her grandmother taught her that if you read Proverbs, you won't need a psychiatrist. I love that concept. There's so much goodness in Proverbs. I have really thought about doing a year of um, wisdom and just doing Proverbs 1 through 31 every single day, 12 times, because I feel like there would be a lot of value in that. Anyways, we should add that. Um, oh, no, I'm so sorry you're not feeling well. I hope you will feel better for sure. You ordered the Bible journals and you're enjoying Genesis and Psalms. I'm so glad. Every year starts in your camper and hotel because you're visiting family. I love that. So hopefully, at night, and this looks different in what season of life you're in. So if you don't have tons of time to do this, don't stress over this. What do you clean electronic strings with? I usually use just a damp cloth with water um because i've read that that's the best thing for your electronic screens okay so let me go through one more time typically these are your morning lists typically these are the things you're going to try to do in the morning if you feel like a rock star try to do these things in the evening too if you miss these nobody's gonna die if you miss any of these nobody's gonna die this is not a big deal y'all this is not a big deal Think of the planner as just a friend saying, hey Susie, come along, let's do this today, we've got this. That's all it is, y'all. It is not meant to be, you have to do every single thing. And then on these bigger tasks, just make sure you get them in once a week, once even every week, is every other week will be just fine. Don't stress over it. I hope that helps a little bit. Please put a list of your cleaning supply video too fast. I will definitely put a link to, I've got a cleaning supply blog post that we'll put a link to, but I will definitely, this will be available for replay for sure. Um, you're so glad you found the planner. It's more than that. It's a community. I do feel like it's the sweetest community on the internet. I love seeing your comments. I love seeing y'all cheer each other on. It's been so valuable for me for sure. Um, let's see. How do you get the planner? Teresa, there should be a link in the video that you can grab to snag the planner. Three-year-old baby boy learning to keep it all in the potty. Yes, okay, so here's the thing. It's also gonna look very different depending on the season of your life of your life that you're in. If you are in a season where you've got three or four young kids at home, you're gonna to need to just, it just takes a lot to maintain your house when you've got three or four kids at home. If you're in a season where maybe it's just you, maybe it's just you and your husband, maybe you and one kid like it is for us, like. I can do way less, but I promise this is gonna add so much value and make your life so much easier. Uh, your husband has a marriage book that you go over a chapter of Proverbs. I love that, Elizabeth. Where did you find your kitchen carpets? Potter, pottery Barn. Um, this is your third planner, Kim says, and she's really excited to plug in and use the checklist. I'm so glad, Kim, that means so much to me. Um, your planner gets here tomorrow. When is it that we do the deep cleaning? Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jennifer. So glad you asked that because I totally skipped over that. The big projects, each week you have one big project. Last week our big project was the pantry. How many of y'all did the pantry last week? So once a week, and right here, there's a little spot that says deep clean refrigerator. So I think tomorrow we're gonna do refrigerator because it's naturally kind of on Tuesdays already. Clean out the fridge is on Tuesdays as a quickie. So clean out the fridge, quickie day Tuesday is literally like dump all your, get rid of all your stuff. It's a quick clean, okay? So Tuesdays typically are quick clean. The big deep clean will be tomorrow because we're doing it. So I try to put those on the same day and I like to do it before trash day for sure. Um, I know the clean towels make me happy too. 
Uh, what's on the other side, Jennifer, of the planner? Just more, these are just more things to do. Um, Mama, for you need the guided checklist. I'm so glad. Hey, MC, so glad to see you this morning. You bought the academic planner. The academic planner does not have the Bible readings. It has some scripture verses in it, though, so that hopefully helps. You're looking for around your house to see what you can sub cleaning cleaning for kids' rooms. You love the planner. I'm so glad. Okay, I think I got through most of the questions. Will you do videos doing the deep cleans? Yes, I will, at least for sure. Depending on how much y'all like it, I will try to do them more often. This definitely is good to see. Oh, it's funny, a lot of times we don't see people on here, so I'm tickled that y'all are here today. Um, okay, I think we got through all of the comments, I think. Um, yes, Kathy just says you make it look doable. Listen, Kathy, it is doable, and I just so want to tell you one more time, and then I'll hop off because I know I talked way too long today. Just having a system is going to help you so much. Your house, ha you have to spend a few hours a week managing your home, whether you don't do it and then after a month you end up with a trashed house that you have to spend 20 hours to clean or you do it and then you just keep up with it. It's the same amount of time. So it's the same time whether you do it regularly or just put it off. Go ahead and get it done. It's going to feel so good. You will love it and you'll be so, so glad you did. Um, okay. When do you do the spring cleaning? We will do that um, as we get into spring. Everything has a big project on the list. So, and then I just do the tackle, tackle the list. Like we've got some extra spring cleaning chores in the beginning. I just tackle them as I can. Second load of laundry in the dryer. Go Juanita, laundry is my biggest monster. So good luck with that one. We're gonna do our laundry this week. Y'all have an amazing day. Keep up with it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. I hope to see you tomorrow morning. We will be on live, hopefully between eight and 8.30 central time most days. So y'all have an amazing, maybe, wait, hopefully between 7.30 and 8 central time. So I'll try to be a little bit earlier. Y'all have an amazing day and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.